Hi guys, welcome to this video about the question if it's a good thing to record 4K at 60 frames per second with the GoPro 7, I mean the GoPro Hero uh, Black 7, yeah, something like that, the newest one. I mean, I have been always recording with lower resolution, like 2.7K or even 1080p at even 30 frames per second and I was super happy with that because what I liked is actually a super sharp image and great stabilization and I always had the impression that 4K just fills up my SD card and using a lot of power on the camera and certainly does. I mean it's not a big difference, I have tried this and the, the difference in space and especially regarding battery was not so uh, important but also I was not able to see a huge change in quality I mean when you see the picture here I mean the recording it looks really good I mean no question about that I don't know if you can see everything I mean it's always a little bit difficult to record videos from a screen so I'm stopping that probably you haven't been able to see anything but at least you have been able to see that the video was moving and this is not always the case so I'm going back here a little bit I'm going out of this program and what I have here is my yeah these are the files from today from the gopro which i've been taken with 4k 60 frames and i have my vlc default player which i'm using for almost everything uh like especially all kind of videos and usually it works really good but uh yeah just watch and see what happens when i double click on this video then it starts and then that's it it stops i mean you can see the timeline is running but it doesn't show anything so i can stop it again and close it again because it doesn't show up i mean and i have been looking in the internet and this is a problem which which seems to be around since quite some time since a couple of years even i mean uh, I think two or three years when the first GoPro came up with 4K, uh, a lot of people have been complaining about that it's not playing this smoothly or not at all on the VLC and VLC is one of the best players and most of the people are using that. I mean there are workarounds, of course you can use different players. Um, here you can see when you right click on that you can open with um, movies and TV photos and window media player uh, i mean i think everything is from microsoft movie and tv i think yeah photos yeah and and this uh yeah i think all the three pro products are from microsoft most are built in uh or or even all the these things are built in into windows 10 and i mean you can click on that and you can see that it's playing but sometimes it still has a problem uh what i found sometimes it was really slow here i think it has about normal speed uh, when i see the counter i don't see any change in speed but it had it had a change in speed before uh when i tried it so yeah I mean, I don't know, I, I, I really haven't found a workaround for VLC, I don't know if somebody uh, from you knows something, uh, what you can do, I mean, I have seen one one person describing something which didn't work for other people and didn't work for me, so it doesn't look like a general solution, uh, I have really no clue uh what we can do about that and it's a little bit disappointing and for me i actually I, the advice is yeah if you don't really need it i i mean if you don't plan to show this video in a theater yeah i mean why to bother with this problem 
uh, do you really need 4k i mean 2.7k is already really good uh, I, I don't see any really major difference to 4k uh, i mean it's just pushing hardware software everything to the very end and then you have to deal with such issues i think it's not worth to do that um yeah just my opinion the question is what's your opinion do you have any other um suggestions how to solve this issue how are you handling that would be really interesting to learn from you what you're doing regarding that and yeah anyway you, at least i have been able to show you some alternate players which you can use even photo and i mean all the three players work ex exactly the same because i think behind that is always the same core from microsoft so you, at least you don't have to install something else but it's it's not good when you can't use your standard player and the vlc is almost standard player for i think 90 percent of the people because it's usually pretty fast and does almost supports almost everything so yeah anyway i hope i was able to help you l at least a little bit if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time